Business. They've all received complimentary tickets for the club's next home game. Makes a change, doesn't it, following all the recent bad publicity involving so-called football fans. Certainly does, Bruce. Over three inches of snow fell in Swindon on Saturday morning, and thanks to a radio appeal, about 100 supporters turned up to help clear the pitch, and it was their effort which eventually enabled the game to go ahead. And seldom will you see this just a few days before the official start of spring. Dave Hockaday shot, dislodging snow from the crossbar as the ball whacks against it. Well, Cruz certainly created their chances. Waller set up Blissett. But his shot was just wide. Nick Longley in the crew goal was alert and he helped to keep his team in the game, having only just won his first team spurs. Henry's free kick was met well by Gordon, but again just off target. And so the teams went off at half-time, nil-nil, to a Christmas-looking scene. Scott Endersby in Swindon's goal made the save of the day, blocking Waller's shot, and Swindon were lucky to escape a penalty with a late desperate tackle. Swindon went behind in the 65th minute. Waller was allowed to run across the box unchallenged after a build-up that started in their own half. He eventually gathered the ball and laid it back to John Crabb. And his shot from 20 metres out was just too good. Makari looked glum, but a smile was soon to be restored. Just two minutes later, Peter Coyne managed to stab a boot out at the ball and it tamely went beneath the goalkeeper. So a draw, but Swindon's run of nine consecutive league wins, I'm afraid, has come to an end. But full marks to those football fans who made it all possible.